Having a bad website will kill your chances of success on Shopify. Even if you have the best products and ads, it's so much harder to see results with a low quality store. So in this video, I'll be sharing the exact store template that I'm using right now to generate over $100,000 a month. And I'll be showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to easily build one for yourself. If you're new here, my name's Jordan and I'm currently documenting the entire process of growing my e-commerce brand with as much transparency as possible. So if you're interested in starting your own online business, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single Friday. Also, just wanna say thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. So to give back to you guys, I'm gonna do something that I usually don't do. I'm gonna give away a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call to one of you. To enter the giveaway, just drop a comment down below follow me on Instagram and DM me when you're done I'll be announcing the winner for this next Friday anyways let's get started with the video first things first here are some live results that I'm getting with this exact template so as you can see halfway through the day I've already done over $2,500 in sales and if we look at yesterday's stats you can see that this store is averaging around $5,000 a day everybody is always asking about profit so let's take a look yesterday I did around $1,500 in profit and today so far halfway through the day I'm at around 727 in profit which is close to 30% daily margin I'm not showing this to brag but just to prove that this layout is working today Day. I figured the best way to explain this would be to make a sample store that follows this exact template. So that's what I did. Let's have a look at that sample store. So this is a store that I created in the home and garden niche. The type of stores that I like to build to test products look just like this. Basically we're building a nice clean branded store with good logo, good images, multiple collections inside of that niche high quality products and images, and overall a trustworthy and legitimate feel. I get DMs every single day of people asking me, why am I struggling to see results? And then I look at their store and it looks like this. If you take the time to make a nice, clean, branded website, seeing success with e-commerce is gonna be so much easier. This kind of store is perfect for testing products because it is branded, it has a trustworthy feel, but it's also broad enough that you can test a variety of products without being too constrained. I like to call this kind of store a hybrid store. It basically bridges the gap between a general and niche store. Building a store like this is really not that difficult, so I'm gonna break down how to do it right now. The first thing that you're gonna to need to come up with is a clean name and logo. To come up with names, I highly recommend you guys check out this tool called Lean Domain Search. Basically, you can take any word or phrase that you like and plug it into here, and they're gonna show you websites that are ready to go that have this word inside of it. So in my case, I used the word flora because it fit perfectly for the home and garden space, and I scrolled and scrolled until I found the name Flora Flow, which I really like. All of the names on this website are available to purchase for the com domain right away so I would take some time and try to come up with at least five phrases that would fit with your branding so now that you've come up with a name you need to create a logo now I know graphic design might be intimidating to a lot of you but nowadays there are a ton of tools that make it incredibly simple one of my favorite tools to do this is actually called canva canva has a bunch of these logo templates already built into the app and it's actually what I use to build the flora flow logo you can literally scroll through their library and find a clean logo for your brand in seconds and no this video is not sponsored by them I just really like their product so as you can see the template that I use for the flora flow logo is right here I literally typed in flower I looked at the options I found this one and I just simply typed in the logo name and then I made it a little bigger centered it in the middle and I deleted the bottom and I made a logo for the brand in 10 seconds <laughs> now look it's gonna take you longer than 10 seconds and you shouldn't rush the process but I would highly advise that you guys use that tool to build your logo. I'm also a big fan of Photoshop. For my brand that I'm running right now, I designed my logo in Photoshop, but it's a lot more advanced and not very beginner friendly. Once you've got a name and a logo, the next step is to build out a nice homepage for your store. Now, when you're running ads to this store, typically you're gonna send people to the product pages. Yeah, you might have a cool product, you might have a cool product page, 
But if your customer starts browsing around your website and they get a weird vibe, they're not gonna spend money with you. And even if they do, the chances of them remembering your brand and buying again are so slim. So this is the exact layout that I use for all of my home pages. Let's break it down. There are a ton of themes to use on Shopify and it can kind of be overwhelming. This store is actually built on the Impulse theme, which is by far one of my favorite paid themes. And if you're looking for a good free theme, I recommend that you guys check out Debutify. I've used both of them and personally I like Impulse a little better, but if you're on a low budget, Debutify is an amazing option. First things first, we need a nice and clean header. Try to come up with something creative that introduces the people to your brand in a very inviting way. Now I could have easily wrote the best products for your home and garden, but I think it's much better to put something that has a little bit more flair and life to it. So in this example, I put stylus essentials for the modern home designed to elevate your lifestyle. If you're struggling with copywriting, just go look at some of the biggest brands out there. In terms of this image and all the images on the site, Shopify actually provides a bunch of really sick free images and a lot of people don't know about this. So if you go down to image and you click on change, and you go to free images, you can search up almost anything. So in my case, I searched up flower and you'll see that Shopify has a bunch of these really nice high quality images that they're constantly updating almost every single week. And they're really fire. The next thing I do is typically put one of our collections on display. In this case, it's the best sellers because those are my favorite products in the store. So I wanted to put those front and center. And when they click on it, you're gonna see that these are our top selling products in a nice, clean, organized page. We also give them an offer with up to 50% off on these select products. And it's just something that gives them some incentive to click and start shopping. The next thing that I really like to do is show some type of mission statement for the brand. I think that this really helps your customers connect with you and feel like they're a part of something greater than just buying a product. So you can see what I had put here is that we wanna help over 10,000 people create their dream environment through providing our own unique products worldwide. Now, this is gonna be different for everybody, so make sure that you come up with something unique for your brand. And once again, I just took the image directly from Shopify. Now, the next thing that I threw in here was just a promotion. You don't need to have this, but I included it because I thought it looked nice. So you can just see it's 50% off of our spring and summer collection. And then I just put a little blurb about stay at home and stay at peace with these essentials. Then I put the top selling products live on display at the front page of the website so that if they were scrolling and they saw something that they wanted to buy, they can easily click and start shopping. Then I put the collections so they can browse the different collections. In this case, I only have two. Sometimes you might have four or more than that so choose wisely which ones you want on the page don't put like 20 collections on the home page and then i just included one last call to action just saying your home is your temple you should treat it like so learn more which is basically going to take them to the about us page about what we're doing so that's pretty much the exact home page layout that i'm using it is interchangeable across whatever theme you're using obviously if you do use impulse it's going to be easier to follow along with that but the principle stays the same a good home page is essential but it is not the most important thing the most important thing above all else is having a good product page this is where your customers are going to end up most of the time after they click on your ad so I'm going to show you this product page template that I've been using for two years now that has worked for me time and time again so this is my checklist for a high converting product page by the way I built this whole entire store and product page live inside of the crash course on my software viral vault so if you're interested in seeing me build this store live just click the link down below and you can check that out there. So really to have a good product page, you only need a couple things. You need high quality images, a good title, correct pricing that makes sense for the product, a properly formatted description, high quality images in the description, and reviews. So this is a sample page I made for one of the products on this store. This product is called the GeoVase. It's basically these indoor floating terrariums where you take dirt, shells, and plants and you hang it up on your wall. I think it looks pretty cool and it's something that I would hang up in my office myself. So if we go through the checklist, we actually have everything on this. We have a good title, we have high quality images, we have a good description with high quality grammar, we have images in the description, and we have pricing that makes sense along with product reviews. The way that this page is structured is really simple, so let's break it down. The first thing that I always include is a headline. The way I like to think of this is trying to sell the product in just one sentence. So think about the main benefit or thing that this is gonna provide and put that as your headline. In this case, I put a unique way to bring natural beauty to your home. You can say whatever you want for your products, but keep it short and straight to the point. Next up, I included a GIF of the product being set up. To create GIFs, you go to a website called Giphy or Jiffy, 
Y'all can go down below in the comments and let me know how you think that's pronounced. I think that this just makes the page look much cleaner, especially on mobile, because you'll see on mobile, it starts out very visual, and then once you get to the description, those images are gone, so we need to have something that is loud and active, and that's why I include GIFs and images in my description. The next thing I include is some simple text explaining the product. Now, you don't wanna make this long at all. This is about as long as I would ever let it go. Typically, we wanna have two to three little sections that explain what this product is make sure to bold some of the key points as well because typically that's where people's eyes are gonna default to and that's what they're gonna read so even if they didn't read anything else they're gonna see that this is the perfect way to bring life to your home and you can transform your home's aesthetics with the help of nature which is exactly what this product does then I threw in another image just to close off that section so next up is the benefits section. The way I like to think of this is if you were a door-to-door -door salesman and you had to think of four things to sell this product on, what would they be? You need to write out those benefits very clearly. It's very important to understand that we're not selling the features of this product, we're selling the benefits that they're gonna get from using it. So in this case, I could have easily said, hang your plants from the wall, 3M adhesive to stick to the wall, hexagon design but i tried to take it and describe benefits that make the product stand out and allow the customer to understand why they should use it so in this case i talk about achieving tranquility basically that this product is going to help them be zen and calm down i talk about how this product will become a centerpiece inside of their house i talk about how they could design their own masterpiece because it is a terrarium so they can add their own stuff in there and lastly i just put that it's the ultimate choice out of the four this is probably the weakest one but it's still better than saying this will look good on your wall after every bullet point I add just a little one sentence explanation going a little further on that point and then we finish out the page with another nice and clean image as you can see at the bottom of the page I just included some reviews directly from Aliexpress and that's pretty much the exact product page layout there's a couple extra things I added on there to help me make a little bit more money we'll talk about those and then we'll finish up the video the first thing I added is called quantity breaks this is basically a discount and incentivizing them to buy multiple products. This works extremely well and allows you to make a lot more money per sale. I also added a sticky add to cart button, which basically means while they're scrolling on the website, at any point in time, they can click buy it now and get taken directly to the cart. Inside of the cart, I simply added a countdown timer just for a small sense of urgency. And I added that upsell in there again, just so they can see that if they add one more, they're gonna get that discount. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you're still confused about all this, like I said before, if you wanna see me building this store step-by-step, step, it's about an hour long video. The link for that is gonna be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you found some value from it. And just one more time, thank you guys so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube ever since I was a little kid and this was always a goal that I had. So let's continue on to that road to 100K. New videos dropping every single Friday. Hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.